Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've thought out the ultimate southwestern blend. Chilies, peppers, black beans, onions, the works. I'm going to season it with some chili powder and some garlic powder. Get that all mixed in there. Now I've got some strained spinach here that I've chopped up. Gotten all the water out of it. I want to mix this up real well until it looks like this. Now we're going to cut up some chicken. I've got some boneless chicken thighs, cutting lengthwise and chopping into bite sized pieces. Just like this. Now we'll take it to a hot pan, some oil, and we'll start cooking this up. A little more chili powder to season the chicken. And some cumin. And again, some garlic powder. Once we get a little color in there, I like to add some oregano. Stir that in real good again. And once we're cooked, we'll just let it cool down here in a side bowl. Because in the meantime, we've got to make our chicken pot pie great. And I start with some butter and of course some flour for a thickening agent. And then I add some chicken stock. And once it's thick enough, we'll kill the heat, let it cool down a little bit, and we'll combine all of our other ingredients the chicken and the ultimate southwestern blend. And now that everything is seasoned, and mix together, we're ready for our gravy. I'll just pour that right over the top and mix it up. And we'll just let that sit here for a little bit. And in the meantime, I've got a uh, greased pie pan and we're gonna use a puff pastry. And we're gonna get this fit as tight as possible. Just make sure it's even all the way around, just like you would any pie. Just a real nice, tight fit. And then what I like to do is just come back here with some scissors and just cut and trim all the way around until it's perfect. Then you add your Southwestern Chicken Blend. Now I actually had a little bit left over. But, uh, you know, whatever pie tin you're using, just fill it up till you're reaching almost the top brim. And then once you do that, take your second pastry sheet right over the top. And then what I like to do is just press a thumb all the way around the outside. And that gives you your pie tin edge as well as presses the dough top and bottom together so you have a full seal. And again, just come back with the scissors and trim the edge of that pie tin all the way around, separating the dough. Once you've got that finished, all you got to do now is double check it. Make sure you've got a good squeeze all the way around the outside. In fact, right here I've got a little edge I want to trim off again. Just make that perfect round pie. Just like that. And now what you want to do is right over the top, either with an egg wash or some olive oil, just coat it 
brush it for that nice golden brown color you want to see on the top of any pot pie. And of course, we got to come back and ventilate, so we're going to cut a few slits in the top so the pie doesn't explode in the oven. There. Now we're ready to bake. I've got just a regular cooking sheet here, just in case there's any spill or overflow. We're going to cook that at 425 degrees for almost 20 minutes. Until it looks like this, that is. Perfect southwestern chicken pot pie. Pastry puffs up real nice, crispy, and fluffy. So you can see it's cracking right across the top. Just what you want to see. And there you have it. Southwestern chicken pot pie right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.